I like that idea um, of talking more deeply onto a specific genre. Hello everyone, I am Natalie, a blogger today, and I am coming with the sci-fi category, the sci-fi genre, and more specifically, the planet Mars. I will take more time with the colonization of the planet. I'm gonna talk to you about four different books. The Champion of Mars by Guy Haley. In the some kind of a close near future, we follow a um, scientist who decide to join the private corporation who had started to do the colonization. The scientist will discover a specific weird, strange artifact. We are going into a further, way further, way beyond future. You have apparently a big war. The author say that it's the near second death of the planet. You have men fighting along or against some spirits. You never really had an explanation of what is the spirit? It's always going back and forth. It's like, you're never gonna understand, you're never gonna catch anything because it's two small pieces of not even information. It's it's like a picture is taken and then you go and then it's like, I don't, I can't put my grip on anything. It is extremely confusing. You have no idea what kind of world it is. How is it working? The actions of everyone on the planet has consequences for the future and what's going to happen. I guess that's some people like the style of the writing for the story. I was ready to give up on the reading because I hated that so much. I want to be honest at doing my reviews and say what I think, but I don't like saying something that harsh. Next book, Red Hope from John Dries. And uh, this is the first one in a duology. I would like to tell you that I liked it better than the previous one, but I really cannot. Well, let's just think that we are, the story happened nowadays. One of the rover on the, the surface of Mars, the discovery made a, a discovery. <laughs> some uh, specific artifacts. So much intriguing, obviously, that they were expected to find something like that, that they are decided to have some astronaut to go onto the surface of, Mar of Mars and to kind of investigate, if, if it's not an investigation, but to see what this is all about. The storyline that you can find onto, <clears throat> onto um, Amazon website or probably into Goodreads as well doesn't match at all the story that you're actually gonna read. If it wasn't for the price of the money of the Kindle, I would have tossed it violently against the wall because what happened was make me beyond angry. It seems that nobody wanted to go for that mission because they were suddenly uh, scared of dying because Mars is far away. I am having an extremely hard time believing that astronaut, cosmonaut, whatever the name will be throughout the world, that they are only interested at going into space onto the International Space Station, at repairing stuff onto satellite, but that's it. I'm sorry, it might not be everyone, but like no one, no way. The retired astronaut, he is so mean, so selfish, so self-centered that the only thing that you want to do is to shoot him. Or since they are on Mars, you just want to, you know, open his uh, helmet and let him die instantly. But the whole time you want to fucking kill him, if this is something that the author has intended to create such reaction, Bravo, they will all receive a, a big check if you want for doing that mission. But the first man or the first of the crew putting the foot or the feet onto the surface will have a second big check. He's gonna be the first. And then when he has put his feet onto the surface, it's like, okay, we are good. We can go back now on Earth. They are finding another big structure with some sort of drawing um, hieroglyphs or 
stuff, Mr. that they've never seen ever. And they are taking pictures, obviously. Oh my God. The fact that in a few hours, every scientist on Earth, they were capable of descripting, of understanding the meaning of this ancient language that they've never seen before, knowing that still nowadays we still have some ancient language that nobody has been able to translate and to understand, it's beyond my knowledge. It is nonsense after nonsense about things that in real life it's never going to happen. I'm sorry, it's just it's not even lacking of imagination. It's not like, why not? It's like, no, I'm sorry, it's never gonna happen. They are creating some kind of a bubble, if you want, onto the surface of Mars from the spaceship, kind of sanitized the surface on Mars. They can walk onto the surface with bare feet. Ooh, it is really not, it is not, it is not. That retired astronaut is keep doing worse like it's, him and no one else and consequences to everyone else. Suddenly, the knowledge, what they have found on Mars, it's gonna save humanity on Earth um, against cancer. Where does that even come from? Anyway, it's just, and, and that, that one barely is still alive, it's just, no. First, it's because it's not even possible. And then, no, he's still alive and he's come back. Oh, boy. <laughs> Third and four, uh, fourth book from Mars and the Colonization will be the best reading for me. The Colony series, if you want, by um, Gerald M. Kelly. And uh, this is an indie author, so I only read on the four different installments, the two first. The first installment, it's a five star. It is happening maybe in less than a week, the story, or maybe in, in two days. So it is super fast paced. So that's why it was, it's not that's why, but I mean, it, it is a huge factor into the five stars because it's really like boom, 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 things happen. Three years prior to that story, NASA on Earth, they sent a um, team or crew or group. I think it's more a group because it's 50 persons. Uh, of people on to Mars to start um, a colony. But after a huge sandstorm, they lost every communication. Ever since, there is no answer. So finally, they are able to find a team. I don't know how many they are, a small team. And they are just sent there on Mars to investigate uh, onto what happened to that first group. It started with the landing onto the surface and they are kind of quickly start to go onto the first site with which is colony one so far beside finding few uh corpse onto the surface no one survived but um at the same point it's it's like there's no one suddenly there's gonna be some um mysterious illness that's gonna um, get into the uh, captain, commander. Uh, he's gonna be the first being sick and it's turning like he suddenly wants to kill everyone. So you really have uh, that fear, that anxiety, that thrill. Oh my god, they are all going to die. They're gonna catch that illness and it's oof. so we are following specifically one uh the scientist no a doctor um uh, i think you said jan malbeck so um a woman to learn what is the illness where is it coming from does i mean that everyone from their first group three years ago they died from it but it's so it's it is mysterious but most of all how are they gonna survive from the Commander. Ah, oh, this is so good. A few minutes after I finished the first one, I uh, bought the second, Colony 2 Morris. So I give it four stars because I had some annoyance with the main character, the Dr. Uh, Jan Malbec or Jan Malbec. With the beginning of the second, it appeared that maybe not everyone from the first group of colonists died 
as they thought they might have died. The doctor, Jan Malbeck, has to explore a bit more, so going on to colony two, the different site, try to get some answers. I can tell you more because otherwise it's really giving you too much. What happened at the first, at the end of the first, you really expect kind of a few days afterwards or maybe a few weeks, but definitely not a few years. Earth become a danger for Mars. The non-interest of that main character, the Dr. Malbec. And when I say non-interest, it's like she's decided to leave as a cave woman and she has no interest to do anything for her survival or maybe someone else i'm not gonna say it every time that in the second installment there's gonna be a situation where she has to act she has to jump into the situation she is not she's lazy she doesn't want to do this she doesn't want to go there the part of the cave woman aspect is like she doesn't care but when she is inside um, a specific uh, action or a specific scene where she has to react she is fully acting it's like a superhero john mike Klein, if you want it's it's she is going for it and she has she doesn't even think twice that it might endanger herself and that she might die it's, she do what she has to do to save the situation and to make it right but just to go for it I can't wait to keep reading and to finish the series. Um, but this is something that I strongly advise you to read because what happened in the second one, who I'm sure many of you will enjoy this. So this is everything that I can tell you for the sci-fi genre and specifically the planet Mars and more specifically again onto colonizing the planet. I uh, hope that those few books have given you some uh, interest and uh, open a world of curiosity at checking, reading, giving them a chance. And uh, let me know if you do what you thought. It's always interesting, specifically with some books that I didn't enjoy at all. It's okay for everyone else to like it, to love it, and it's okay at the same time to dislike it strongly like strongly until the next time thank you for subscribing to give a thumbs up it will help with my channel see you next week for another video